I am back and with some more Halo 4. We're on episode 3 of the Let's Play and we're going to continue on with the story. Um, uh, yeah, because it's the weekend and I thought I might as well, I'll do the next rotation, get ahead a bit more and... Uh, yeah, just uh, chill out and play some Halo. Because um, I'm going to try and do from today and the next four days Halo. Um, I might rethink if I complete Halo 4 within the four days but um, yeah I'm more or less going to be street trying to play the next four episodes today um, in one day but they'll be pushed over the next four days um, but yeah so far I've, I've been actually quite craving this game because actually it was quite fun the past few levels and um, I'm excited to get back into it um, I think we'll replay because there was a bit of a cutscene, man. Um, uh, but yeah, there's, they've had um, another tech test for Halo Infinite multiplayer. Like, I can't. Like, it's weird that they just put like the solely focusing on multiplayer right now when we haven't seen. There hasn't been much story trailers or anything. Like, I'm not really. I don't need the story trailers. I'd like to go in blind, to be honest. Uh, like the only thing I've ever seen was the E3 thing, and um, yeah, it, I, I, I both kind of want to see more of the campaign because we haven't seen any gameplay from the campaign since we've seen some screenshots and art, concept art, but that's not in game. Like it is, I, I'm really worried about. Halo Infinite, to be honest, like the gameplay that I've been seeing of the tech test. I know it's a tech test, but it's um like some things are st it just st like the multiplayer doesn't look exciting. I might do a few videos on it because um it'll be something new to play and that. But really, my focus is on the campaign, and uh, we're slowly getting there. So um, I'm not sure how long it'll take for us to complete Halo. For, but we'll just see where it goes. Um, but yeah, uh, as always, I just hope everyone enjoys and yeah, let's get back into Halo 4. Um, what I remember was we were on Requiem still, right? <coughs> um, we just met that uh, forerunner. I don't know what his name is, the big bad guy. <laughs> Uh, quite a cool little story they got going there. Stay low. Recon sortie heading this way. The ship looks intact. Something tells me that's only because the Didact wanted it that way. This is Lasky to UNSC Infinity. Road to an exit bad guys down here. Does anyone read? This is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Under Dawn. We're on station, ready to assist. Negative copy. Sounds like you said Forward Under Dawn coming in. Signals bouncing in and out. I can't clean it up. Light up their friend or foe tags. We're gonna need something to zero in on. I wonder why the Covenant are so interested in us. Oh yeah, well yeah. free to handle it personally. Yeah, he took control of them all, didn't he? Um. Uh, but yeah, um, I watched. Uh, I watched Halo Forward into Dawn. Halo 4 forward into dawn, um, and it's a uh, Halo movie that came out before this. Well, I set before this. It's in um, I've put it in the playlist on my YouTube. So they must not have received his distress call. 
But, um... Uh, Master Chief, he meets Laxley as a kid. I don't know how it plays out, because he had, like... It's a bit weird, but um, it's Laxley, I think. Um, and he's a commander on the Infinity. Uh, but uh, that film is set when he's a trainee. Um, I think I should remember... Like, we should see him in this. Like I, I looked up his name, because I wanted to see who he actually was in Halo 4, and I think he is in Halo 4. I'm not sure where he is in Halo 5. One of them's an officer. Check his oh, IFF tag. Oh, they even said look. Oh, what's that? Ooh. Tag IDs him as Jimenez, Paolo J. Then Lasky's still out there somewhere. Oh man, this game looks awesome. Look how good this looks. This is a pretty good Halo, pretty good looking Halo game. And I think that's the problem, is that because they wanted to make Halo look modern, they somewhat overcomplicated, like, the armors, because they thought it's how the game should look, you know? Um, which ain't there, but, like, I think the game looks awesome, like, I think Chief's armor looks cool in this, but I wish there was a bit more explanation, like, like... Uh, what I've seen is nano, like it's nanobots that's um, done his armor up when he was in the cryo. Um, but the thing is, like, there's certain like little problems with it. Like, why is there modern guns on the forward, forward into dawn? It shouldn't be like. There shouldn't really be stuff like that. I don't think it's kind of. Like, it's noticeable. If you if you played all the other Halo games, it's noticeable. I like, say it's, say Halo 4 is your first Halo game, then it wouldn't it wouldn't probably stand out to you too much. But it, it's just I don't mind having new guns. It's good to have new guns in the game. But. but they should have it so um, it makes sense. Uh, we shouldn't have had. We shouldn't have started to have new guns until we were beginning to hear Infinity, and we and we knew that they were heading towards here. Then maybe you could have said, "Oh, there's some new weapons popping in," but my like, weapons coming from forward, like a crash forward into dawn. This doesn't make any sense. I know that people have a lot of problem with. Um, the forward into them being too big. And it's apparently it's the wrong size. <laughs> uh, but they did it for gameplay purposes, which, fair enough. Like, like that first level was really fun. Um, but yeah, I highly. I, I've put it in the playlist. The. Um, I put it in the playlist, the um, for Halo 4 Forward Into Dawn movie. Like, because someone's put it on YouTube and it's not been taken down, so I thought it'd be nice to put it into the playlist. Ow. Oh yes! Oh, we fucked him up. Can go up here. No! Oh, that one went flying. Hang on, I want to try and get up there. I have a feeling that there might be secrets. I doubt there's much.
Um, but yeah, I have been thinking about games I could play after, infin after Infinite. Or even before then, if we complete all the Halo games before that. But I, I don't know whether we will. Like, I'm going to take my time and... Uh, but I'm either thinking Doom 2016, because I would look, I, like, if I could, I would replay Doom 3 again, because I love that game so much, that was such a good playthrough I did. Um, so it's fucking invisible wall, isn't it? Uh, I thought, nah, they might have some secrets climbing up there, but, yeah. Just check that there's no... Secrets. But like some of the screens, like some of the gameplay I saw, like on some of the maps of Infinite, uh, for the multiplayer, like the, uh, there's a desert-like area on the ring. It looks really nice. So like they have improved the visuals, it's just... How is it going to look in the multiplayer, in the single player, where it is a bit more open worldy? Uh, we'll see. Um, like to be honest, I don't. Do, as long as the story's good and it respects you, again, I don't really care about what the game looks like. When when they showed the gameplay trailer at E3, I didn't get. I wasn't even too bothered by it to be honest. Oh, there's a shotgun there. Oh yeah. Um, I wasn't too bothered by it really, um, because I, uh, I now if Halo looked like Halo wants still, if the memory was still being a good story, I don't care. <laughs> Some good gameplay, and I think a lot of Halo fans would rather have that, and especially when they moan a lot what of the was time. That you dropped on the ground over there. Especially when um, a lot of the time they moan about like the games are too like so many of the excuses that, that I've seen from me three for three is that um, the games are like too high tech almost like there's too much going into it. I remember like um, the reason why we didn't get split screen for Halo Five was because the game was too demanding and it's like them turn it down a bit like. I'd rather have like classic stuff in the game than, and it look a little bit worse than other games and it missing elements that we've had for years like, like the game looks good like now um, I'm not sure if I'm too I'm not sure if I'm too amazed by the um, uh, visuals um, like um, armor look I think it looks a bit plasticky but it's fine. I, I'm not going to be too invested in the multiplayer anyway, but I might, I might get into it. Like we'll see. I think the, pr um, what's it called? Um, like the progression system might be a problem. I will have to see. Like I, I will, I will try it out for an episode or so. But yeah, instead of fucking we'll play the game. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, we're not having that. Not oh, freaking wall hats. What is this, Call of Duty? I think that you can, can't see them. They're really glow in the dark. So much fun. Uh, one thing I wish was the AI was a bit better. Like, why, like, if that one was about to jump up at me, why didn't all them dogs jump up at me? 
I don't get why they would just hold off like that. Um, they just a little. Yeah. I've got one too, mate. Let's see what this shotgun can do. Oh man, this shotgun is going great. But there's so many secrets that I'm missing. That's what you should have night vision on. There you go. And this is kind of flood-like, isn't it? I don't know whether I mentioned in the last episode, but um, they are going to add um, the flood to Halo 3 ODST's flood uh, firefight mode. Uh, which is something that I've been kind of asking for for a while. <laughs> wow. Well, um, ever since playing Halo again, I've been like, oh, I'd love to have a flood mode in a firefight. We've got another IFF on the far side so, of this thicket. Yeah, that might be fun to play when they, if they do release it. It's in the test server or something on Master Chief Collection, so... And it looks like it works, so... It might be not too long until we get that. Um, it's a shame if we don't. Um, so yeah, that's another good thing coming. Look at him, in the wild. Well, that was a shitty aim, wasn't it? And why wasn't that dog pushing me? Like, they, cl they can climb. Why don't they push you? like this. This is really good level design. But I just wish the AI was a bit... Like, they're not really doing that. They're just done there. So I should put it on high, harder difficulty maybe, but then that's just them doing more damage. So I doubt it'll do much different. As far as I can tell, we're moving into a choke point. This may end up as a dead end. Chief loves dead ends. Dating one. <laughs> Bad me then. If Lasky's transmission like is any indication, his people need our help. We've got to find them ASAP. Oh. Man, I'm so glad I watched that movie before this. <laughs> well, I watched it the other day. 
Zalatsky. We're gonna see. We're gonna see the guy from Halo 4, baby. Oh, he's a bit older now, but kind of cool. So I've watched the Halo 4 m movie before, but I never put it together. I don't know why. That's the friend or foe so tag. Rush. But where's whoever it belongs to? Probably rush through most of this shit. Uh. Palmer. Yeah. Multiple IDs. Chief, they're friendlies. Oh. Afraid we're gonna have to give you an IOU on that welcome home party. Tom Lasky. First officer of the Infinity. Never thought I'd see you again. Seal her up! I thought you'd be taller. Ground forces are ordered to return to Infinity immediately. Commander! Radio's hot! Oh, that's cool. He, he was like, um, never thought I'd see you again. But, um, <laughs> on what frequency? What frequency, damn it? Infinity, this is Commander Lasky. The Hellkin recon teams are down. Repeat, all birds are down. We've got numerous casualties and require immediate assistance. Over. Finally. Did you get the coordinates of that gravity well? Affirmative, sir, but we're going to need a bus out of here. Make it happen. You were sent on a scouting run in the middle of an attack on the ship. The captain thought Infinity could provide us cover and hold off the attack at the same time. Sir, we'll never get the wounded back to the ship on foot. I don't know if it's too soon to ask you for a favor, but... We're gonna run out of breathing room here real quick. I don't suppose you're any good at clearing LZs. On occasion. I'll send out an all-clear <laughs> once the area is secured. Awesome. A topographical scan of the area shows a break in the foliage north of here. Should be big enough to bring in a dropship for evac. But yeah, in the Halo 4 movie, when Chief did show up in there, he was a pretty good, pretty badass. <laughs> um, but you could tell that the film had a massive budget. Like, um, I summon this. I, there was quite a few scenes with Covenant, but um, like there was one noticeable one, like um, with an elite, and show to it, have an excuse for not showing him up all the time. He has actually done a lot. So like, we're just trying to avoid thin air pretty much, because there's no like invisibility. Like, like there's moments where you see the um like the cat cloak and every so often, but it's still not like It's not like really noticeable though. Um So they're like just they're just hiding around corners from Pretty much nothing's there. Um, but when, like, uh, pretty much everything shows up. Uh, jackals, grunts, uh, hunter. It's fucking awesome. Um, and I think this, like the characters in that film are okay as well. Like, like the guy that played Laxley, his fucking girlfriend, she did a good job. Um, girlfriend. Like, the love interest, like... Really, really good, um, a good little indie movie, I'd say. I wouldn't call it a fucking high-end movie, but I'd say, I'd say it's got, um, I think it's better than the one that they released for Halo 5, which is on YouTube as well, so I'll probably put up that in the playlist before we start Halo 5 up, maybe, um. Uh. Oh, 
nachgebracht hier, ne? Über die da drin. Yeah, that fucking guy is dumb as shit. Just stood there. Chief, it's Lasky. We're getting reports of friendlies pinned down near your position. Can you assist? Commander, this is Cortana. We're on our way. Get it charged up or close to them, big guys. The fuck. This is really fun. See, like, for how much the AI is great. These teams won't last for long out here. Finding an LZ should be our top priority. Like, it is, it's like, the gameplay in this is really fun, like, um, and it's not too the over the top, like, you trying to get through these doors. Five. Look for an interface. It's still Halo 5, isn't it? These doors open into a cave system with a space large enough for an LZ. Hold them off long enough for me to open the doors! They put the turret in the stupidest spot. Come on. Tana, ah. Of course I will.
<laughs> Chief's come back for after years and he just died as These <laughs> doors open into a cave system with a space large enough for an LZ. <laughs> Hold them off long enough for me to open the doors. Cover me. I feel like this is kind of bad. But... Oh! What's this thing? Seems like in this, it doesn't make me push up now. Cortana, how close are we? Cortana, don't moan at me. <laughs> Got it. Passageways unlocked. Come and get me. Eyes up. I'm sorry about back there. That hatch of security was more difficult than I expected. It's all right. It's not all right. Nothing about it is all right. Because <laughs> you get a little bit more of Cortana in that, um, where she's going a bit crazy, I think. I can't remember in the movie. I think at the beginning you see Knight! a bit of this. Wait, what's he doing? They're working with the Prometheans? Yeah, you didn't notice when he was trying to hypnotize them all. Probably one of their gods. Covenant is so dumb and gullible. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, fuck me! <laughs> Damn it, Chief! <laughs> whoa! Oh, I'll follow the game crash then. Come on. Knight! Wait, what's he doing? Covenant? They're working with the Prometheans? Oh. Yes. 
Take that. I did see a video on YouTube of someone making the Halo 4 weapons look like Halo 2, I think. Uh, it's on YouTube. It's kind of cool little mod thing that I made. Oh yes, that's what I talk about. Quickly, the Didact has unified these covenants. LZ is secured. Roger that, Cortana. I'll give you the coordinates. Mayday! Mayday! Code red! Hostile elements attempting to gain entrance to the Infinity Bridge. They're outside the hatch! Doors breach! Doors Why breach! Why is he interested All in that, to Infinity immediately. That's an order! Chief, I'm redirecting the Spartan Force to Rally Point Alpha Sierra Foxtrot. Until we catch up, you have tactical command of the forward assault force. Rendezvous with those men and take back that ship. Yes, sir. Good luck, Chief. Lasky out. Cool. This is Pelican 595. <laughs> we have the Chief on board and are outbound for Rally Point Alpha Sierra Foxtrot. Weapons free, Chief. Let him have it! Oh, we got some other Spartans. Cool. Teach him, man. The old boys do it. Scorpion, eh? We're good to go, Chief. Let's show these Spartans how it's done. Come on, no! It's going up! No! Oh, cool, this 
that piece is looking at me. This game looks awesome. If they can make Halo look like the moon and look like this, maybe it's not true. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what the damage you mean, you know? Back. That was good. They'd have to make some more tanks and everything, but I think they could do that. Like a vehicles only multiplayer mode, I'd play the shit out of that. Like this game is awesome. And this is a proper somewhat next gen Halo game. Well, I see. I'd say it looks better than Halo 5. Like Halo 5 goes a bit. 
uh, really colourful and somewhat cartoony in like this aesthetics anyway. And like the exosuits are just shit. They should not be Thank god in here they five we've only got to worry about grappling. A hunter? Status. That satellite took down the ship's defenses and is extracting data from the ship's mainframes as we speak. Can we break the connection? The main point of contact's on the ship's upper hull. The fastest route is through the maintenance causeway. There's a Mantis docked inside the door. Take it. You'll need the extra firepower. Mantis. Let's go. Quickly. Keep moving. I have guns. Isn't Mantis like the mech suit? I swear there's like a mech suit in this. No, I wanna just see. I feel like I'm missing stuff in this game, but maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> Tight of all. <laughs> On, guys, I just want to check. Like, there's no like terminals or anything like that. There probably is, and I probably missed a ton of them on the way. Fuck it, let's do this. The hatch to the maintenance causeway is jammed. Let's do something about it. Uh, I thought there's a... Yeah, that's what I'm after. Fucking melee. How did we get these back? I can't remember these in here. This far. I can't remember these. Fucking Robocop. Are they called? Are they, are they mechs in Robocop? Infinity TACCOM is reporting additional contacts on the outer deck. The Pick ones up, or Chief. something? What are you on about?
getting nothing like this in Halo 5. Like, it just shows like Halo 5 went to shit. <laughs> At least there's some like Halo moments in this, you know? It's pretty good. Like, the only thing that's a bit of a letdown in this is the music. The music's a bit. nothing there, really. Even some dynamic shit. We're not doing Infinity any good down here if the Didax linked in from the outer hole. I'm killing things, Katana. Is it just the uh, forerunner that they just want to attack the humans, or like what's the reason for this? That's two. Fuck it out, this thing just destroys them. Can we 
again, big fucking gun. during the fucking wars years ago, could have won in a day. The MAC network's reading operational, but our EM relays are malfunctioning. You'll have to initiate the link manually. Yeah. <laughs> See that? Ah, oh. fucking cut off just before crash lands. What I want to know, people, is where the hell did those things come from? It's possible that they're native to Requiem, or whatever counts as native for a Forerunner AI. We've never seen this type of offensive reaction from any of the other installations. Other installations. Mr. Lasky. Infinity's mission has been to locate the remaining Halo rings and establish permanent bases to study them for decommission. We got locations up and running around installations five and three, but lately they've run into some setbacks. A science team got zapped excavating a Forerunner artifact. This sensor data is all that was left. Interesting. These symbols are a derivation of the Forerunner glyph system. And our geeks managed to pull some coordinates. I'll give you three guesses where it led. Sir, Gypsy Company is prepped and ready to roll on your orders. Thank you, Palmer. Mm. Mr. Lasky, you take point. I want boots on the ground in 60. Captain. This is a first contact scenario, Master Chief. Priority is to free Infinity from Requiem's gravity well and file a threat assessment back at Fleetcom. You mean we're leaving? Sir, Infinity drove the Didact back. He's vulnerable. He isn't the only one. You know, I think you, of all people, would appreciate the benefit of living to fight another day. I kind of agree with him. I, I know that we can put up a fight, but it'd be better to get some backup at least. But then, yeah, you might want to try and make sure we know what we're dealing with, but... It would make sense to try and get out of here, but you can't. F like the Covenant is still going to be here. Like God knows what they're actually up to. So you can't really just leave. If anything, you should try and con contact. Like get contact through to come back. But I don't know how far away they are from 
the group, so. Infinity to Gypsy Company? The air corridor to the gravity well is blocked by a network of particle cannons. Infinity shields are still down. Open the lane for us to move up and provide air support. Captain, what's Force Recon's assessment of the terrain? I know you've been off the field for a while, Master Chief, but this is a blow-through op. Sending in a recon would just slow us down. Telemetry indicates the particle cannons are being controlled from a command post southwest of our position. Roll on that target and neutralize those guns. We'll meet on the other side and take the gravity well. Infinity out. I don't know about you, but I usually like a little more intel with my intel. We'll make it work. It's cool we're working with Spartans. Well, I don't feel we've gone out with Spartans Spartan before. Sarah Palmer in Infinity CIC. Commander Lasky's waiting for you on the Mammoth. On our way. Something? Mind your lane. Go a bit. Okay, that's just too close. That's kind of cool. They have a little bit of interaction when you bump into them. Well. Oh yeah, the mammoth. Oh, this saving. is a good mission. Seven six six to Spartan Palmer. We're finally in the air. It's good to see you. Why is his mask moving? <laughs> I just want to bump into people to see what they say. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I thought there was a mammoth mission in Halo 3, but um, I must have really had a stroke on that day. Got some fucking Spartans in them. <laughs> Chief. Unfortunately for us, we've got to manually bring down a couple of particle cannons before we can get to the command post. Chief, Palmer again. The mammoth's got jetpacks on board. If I were down there, I'd want one. I'm not getting told what to do by a woman. I ain't got nothing else, though. Gypsy Company, this is Captain Del Rio. The board is green. Let's shut down that gravity well so we can go home. Good hunting. Infinity out. Are you... Yeah, that's the thing. I'd rather have, um, okay, like, jetpacks or anything in Halo than exosuits, what they added in Halo 5. It's kind of funny that they've gone back though. Look at that shit. <laughs> like, this is when we should have got new guns. Not on forward into dawn. Captain Del Rio, targeting pelicans are in position near the particle cannons, waiting for the mammoth's mini mac to take them out. 766, lose some altitude. You're inside the kill box. Way more cinematic. Target designator, Gypsy. You've got no chance of clearing those guns without it. All teams, we've got Covenant squads digging in on the ridge line. Weapons free, people.
her in. Why is that thing not taking damage? Tight, Marie. We'll get you out of it. Thanks, Master Chief. We owe you one. Target those phantoms for the railgun to shoot down. We don't want to do that, do we? It's a waste of fucking. It's a railgun, isn't it? Yeah, they want it. They want us to do it, then. No, I'm not doing that. Take him to the fucking hammer. Stupid. Look at him, he's just chilling on Facebook. And he is. I 
that was easy. Railgun reloaded. Lasky to infinity. First contact cleared, but no joy on additional targets. Gypsy moving on to secondary battle position, but requesting evac for casualties. I'm on it, Commander. Palmer out. Warhog. More Covenant. Target acquired. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Railgun reloaded. Banshees. the far side of this canyon i'm seeing this three is power very halo reach. shut them down so the mammoth can move through turret mission save all the uh rail guns causing us problems oh, we've got hunters Got the old hunters. And what happened to my warthog? Oh, did they just drive out? Sit down, son. Fucking car. Car. <laughs> Where are our hunters? Why are we taking down these shields? <laughs> oh, that's feel good. Now the thing is, in Halo Reach, you probably won't be able to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Bump. 
loser. It's so pathetic. <laughs> Really, that first bumpy game, it should have been dead. If it was another Halo game, I would have been dead then. Okay. <laughs> Why didn't you stop following me? Shield disabled. Mammoth, the path is Minecraft. clear. Minecraft. Mammoth, hold position. Whenever you're ready to proceed, Chief. Going, guys. Hang on, guys. Uh. All right, let's go. Survivor. To the late. Of course. Mammoth won't last long out in the open like that. We'll have to find a way to keep the Covenant off them. Fuck's sake. How did he get perfectly on me like that? Shots good. Damn it. All units, unidentified covenant vehicle incoming. Mammoth's hit. Forward tracks oh, yeah, these guys out. Mammoth won't last long out in the open like that. We'll have to find a way to keep the covenant off them. Fuck! 
<laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Shots good. <laughs> Motherfucker. All units, unidentified covenant vehicle incoming. Long out in the open like that. We'll have to find a way to keep the Covenant off them. Robo. Can shoot the right guy, please. So easily. Just for heights, I suppose. Oh. Come on, dude, get in the car. Get in. Why would they why would they land here like this? It seems like they're coming in stupid. Too stupid to do. I, I know they've done it before and they the one, but it's a natural carrier. Not oh, a little thing like this. Like surely they see the risk of parking it. Especially with minimum defense. to get up there. You fucking tell me what to do. No wonder they're replacing you, Katana. Just saying. If the, if the new Cortana's not as moany as you are, we might be alright. Hey, guys. Ah, fucker. Where is he? Where's that elite again? Where the fuck did that elite go? Where did that elite go? You should have killed me then. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> I'm gonna blow their own shit.
by the jet, okay. together okay chief do you even understand what rampancy is really we don't just shut down our cognitive processes begin dividing exponentially according to our total knowledge base we literally think ourselves to death you know i won't let that happen and if it happens anyway And it's so nice that she has to talk. Go, Commander. I've had so much character to We got significant them. blockage up ahead. I think this is about it for the mammoth. The command post for the particle cannons is through that trench. Sir, I can move faster alone. We'll see you back on Infinity, Commander. Lasky out. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna keep the rocket. Did all them Spartans die or something? Because they've just disappeared. I bet, I bet we're going to have some sniper shit problems here anyway. Yeah, like they, they really want you to use a sniper. Fine. Fine game. You can do what you want. If I shot them, we'd have some like uh, oil split out with fire or something. I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> What's it? The fuck does it? Oh, 
Fucker. Pinpoint accurate. Oh, that's stupid! Like, why are the jackals? They know I'm here, and then they've got shields, and they're just standing there like fucking doormats. What the fuck? They they could have protected themselves, and they just wanted to die. Maybe the uh, forerunner ain't like the superior race because they're just making them more dumb. Fuck it out. <laughs> Jesus. Man, like, uh, that's the only thing that, like, the combat is pretty fun in this, but it's like, I li it, like, the AI is just, the AI is just a bit stupid in this, like, if you play, like, if, if you go from this to Halo Reach, you can tell the difference in, like, the AI. Uh, the quality is just, uh, it's noticeable by the, uh, they just don't do anything. I feel like in Reach, the Jackals then would at least try to push up or, the, I don't know, stay in like a defensive status no matter what. Them Jackals would have known I was pushing up. Maybe not where I was coming from, but... They would have they would have been prepared. I did just saw the fucking mates get snipered. And then <laughs> they don't fucking do nothing. Uh. But like the second to second gameplay in this is really fun. Like um I say you want a really fun shooter, like, it's there, but like, you're not gonna like have any standout moments where the AI actually outsmarts you, they're only gonna like, have their lucky kills, you know. Actually, let's, um, where the fuck is everyone? Soon died, didn't it? Is this a beam rifle? Hmm. I think I've used one of these before, but I'm, I thought it was like the one from Halo Reach. You know the was it plasma beam rifle thing? Oh, I remember, I actually think I died a few times in this section, I can't remember. Coming back. Huh.
mean, yeah, I don't know why the why the grunts sound terrible in this. <laughs> Look at that dude. Look at that dude. <laughs> Just chilling. Just chilling. And it's a shame that there's no dual world in as well. That was one thing I did see in the Halo Infinite gameplay I've seen. Um, on some of the multiplayer maps there's like vaults or something. And during a game you can go and um, go after them and unlock them. And there's like a load of ton of loot inside, like high-end weapons and everything. It looks really cool. Uh, that might be really fun to try out. I think big team battle and stuff, they're going to be where I probably am more fun at. Like the whole arena stuff in Halo, I've never... Halo... F Halo Reach was okay with that, but... That's great. <laughs> the only, um... Multiplayer experience I've had with the older games was like... Uh, couch co-op sort of thing. Split screen, that sort of thing. I've never really properly gone all out with like... Multiplayer. Like online multiplayer. Cortana to infinity. We're entering the Forerunner structure. Breaking up, but coordinates received, Infinity. I'm really curious to see how long, like infinite, because it's open world, like my worry is that the story is actually going to be really short, but it's just padded out with open world stuff, and I hope that's not the case. I hope there's a good balance between the two. This elevator should take us directly to the coordinates Infinity provided. Almost like those sentinels wanted us to get the particle cannons offline. This could be a trap. You say that like there's a second possibility? Because, like, you don't want to go into an open world Halo game and just go to Forerunner Towers, like in a Far Cry game, and activate them for some reason. Um, but. Wow. Wow. Ain't this a pretty little room? Wow, this is really like creepy almost. Like this game looks awesome. They like they tried to add a bit of reflection, ain't they? It's not exactly accurate though. <laughs> Uh, one thing is I hope they don't bring back the Flood. Uh, there's a good chance they might do that just because... I don't know, they might want to... have that risk back again, but... I hope they don't, but... 
Because they keep saying, like, hey, let me finish like, the a soft reboot. This almost. looks like the place. I just want to, I'd rather them just continue this story. Which is, it kind of did in Halo 5, but it just, the fucking didn't do anything with it. I, 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 I actually quite like this little Forerunner stuff. And at least they're trying to do their own thing, yeah? I'd be interested to see if we get Forerunners in Halo Infinite. I can't remember if we get rid of them in Halo 5, but... Particle cannon network must use these arrays for targeting and guidance. It's an automated system, so it won't technically allow me to <laughs> redirect the cannons to fire on one another. Cortana to Infinity. The guns should be offline. How's it look from up there? Infinity! Cortana? Something's in here. Kate! Cortana! Cortana! Now if that were Doom Guy, he'd rip, a, he'd rip the fucking thing out of the socket. I don't know where to end it here. It looks like Katana's got captured. Because I'm more or less going to continue in the next episode. Um, can we keep, yeah, I'm going to end it here. I think it's a good spot to end. Katana's just got taken. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm more or less going to continue in the next episode. So, uh, but yeah, I've, like for what it's worth, like this is a million, like four missions anyway. Um, I these are just kick ass compared to him. Like I, I I remember Halo Five, and it's just so shame that they didn't continue this momentum into Halo 5, even with their own little style on it, you know, but, um, and just make it as long as this, and just keep it, it's just a shame, like, they even brought back Arbiter and everything, and they just made it so short, um, because actually quite, I actually find the, uh, Forerunner stuff actually quite interesting, to actually finally have a game that actually dives into it a bit more, it's quite good. Um, saying like Halo Five should have been more of that, um, and more on like, like you should have like the old element of Chief being hunted and everything because of Cortana, but, uh, but yeah, it's just, I just hope Halo Infinite will either come back to this level, like this quality where it's a good game. Like so far, like this is a really good Halo game. Not 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 the best, but it's serviceable. Um, I'd rather have another Halo like this than say a Halo Five, and I think everyone would rather have that. Um, and to be honest, if they went back to a Halo like this, <laughs> it'd probably have a ten out of ten mark. Um, but hopefully, um, I'd. But if they can make it make a even better story than we've had in the last even before this like it'd be awesome to see um and yeah I, I doubt i think we'll be we're on track to completing all the halo games before december if not i, I, I might i do want to finish them all anyway um and we will cover infinite at some point and uh yeah it'll be a nice collection and like i said uh halo for Forward Into Dawn is in my playlist. The Halo, the complete story. If you want a movie to watch, like I might rewatch it because that was such a good little film and it's connected to this. Um, and Latsky, Latsky. Uh, so like what playing this and just watching that is a bit more, you know. And I was thinking about as soon as I finished this, I would have a like a few days break. Wow. Well, say in the next four episodes, within the four episodes over the next few days, I complete Halo 4. I was going to, like, um, have a little bit of a, like, put a game in between so there's a bit of a break. But I just realized we're doing Halo 4 Spartan Ops after this, so I might not need to. Um, I might just be able to just, if we finish Halo 4, which I don't know whether we might do, um, we'll 
just going to the Spartan Ops missions. Um, but yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else besides there'll be more Halo tomorrow. Uh, should be State of Decay later on today and tomorrow on YouTube. And yeah, we'll, we'll just have the next four days of Halo in the morning. Um, but yeah, uh, really enjoying it. So as always, thanks for watching if you've been watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.